Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sense of South Jersey. Uh, of course, it's with me, Kellen, and we're going to do a fragrance review today. I'm going to take it back to a house I've been doing a lot of reviews of. Uh, you guessed it, it's going to be another Jacques Bogart fragrance, and uh, this particular one is it's pretty different, and it sparked my interest, which is why I knew I wanted to review it and um, you know get the thoughts of uh, my subscribers in the fragrance community in general for this one. Um, this is called Riviera Nights by Jacques Bogart. So uh, this is gonna be classified as a woody spicy fragrance. It actually was released in 2010. So Riviera, you know, I think it makes me think of the French or Italian Riviera. Um, you know, this is a awesome fragrance. I really like this one and it's pretty different too and I'll, and I'll get into why, but um, we'll, we'll look at the presentation and then the note breakdown and I'll talk about its performance and performance compared to other Jacques Bogart fragrances that I have and then I'll give my overall thoughts on it here too. And then the rating, of course. So we're gonna start with the box presentation. So we'll take a look here at the front. Got a silver top here, brown, um, which is, um, reminds me a lot of the fragrance too, because it gives off that real woody spicy. So that's a, it's a fitting color. And it says Riviera Nights here. And then of course, Jacques Bogart Paris, 3.3 fluid ounces. So it's a 100 ml bottle, eau de toilette strength sides. And back, not much really going on. You got some brand info there on the bottom, of course, your barcode, batch number, etc. And on the top, you got the Bogart B. So pretty cool box, sleek. I like it. Um, opens up just like this. No Bogart pattern on the inside. I think that was one of some of their older fragrances. But the bottle is really cool. So we'll take a look here. Comes out. Sleek bottle. Really, really think it's awesome. So you got the silver built-in sprayer here with a gold accent across here with the gold Bogart B. Gold atomizer, you can spray in there too. You can see the gold there. Brown here, just like the bo uh, box, excuse me. Riviera Nights, Jacques Bogart Paris on the back, not much going on on the bottom. You got embossed lettering here um, that says, made in eau de toilette and made in, made in France too, so you can see. So the sprayer, insane sprayer. Shoots a ton out here, I'm gonna spray some on myself. Hmm, so uh, no breakdown for this one. The top is Neroli, bergamot and grapefruit. The center, or heart, as you want to call it, is going to be nutmeg and cardamom, and dried fruits. Not really sure what that's supposed to smell like, but um, the base, vetiver, Virginia cedar, and tonka bean. So right off the bat, you're going to get a little bit of the fruit, your slight grapefruit for sure, and rolly, um, but this is really heavy on the nutmeg and on the cardamom. That is what sticks with this fragrance the entire time. So the performance on this is good. It's very good, but it's not great. It's not beast mode like many other Jacques Bogarts, but that's okay. Because I think sometimes they're a little bit almost overwhelming. And I know I like that. I like to spray heavy. I like the ones that kind of assault nostrils, but this one is um, a little classier than that, I think. You know, it, it's got a really cool look to it. I'd say I get about six to eight hours out of this. It projects really well for the first two and a half, three hours. The sillage is great. Um, the second half of the fragrance cycle is gonna be more of a, a skin set, or at least in your immediate personal space. Um, but I would say, yeah, that's the last quarter of it. You don't wanna spray more than two to three sprays max, because that's enough, because if you do, then it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming. Um, you know, I really like this one. It's, it's different from a lot of the other older Jacques Bogarts, like your one man show, um, or even some of the ones like Silver Scent, where it's like super overwhelming. This one is uh, just right in that sweet spot where I think it performs really well, smells really great, but it's not over the top. So I like this one a lot. Um, it is still in production, of course. I know I've been doing some discontinued Jacques Bogart fragrances, but this one is still in production. I really enjoy it. I'd say, again, you get the fruit in the beginning, but it's mostly a spicy kind of trade off between that nutmeg and that cardamom, but it does it really well. And you get a little bit of that cedar there at the very end in the dry down too. So if you like woody fragrances, this one is definitely gonna be a good fit. I'd say um, where to wear this. This is definitely a semi-formal to good, good, you know, going out to dinner. Um, I would say maybe better in the nighttime than so much in the day because it can be a little, if it's hot out, it can be a little bit, you know, tough to, to be around. But I think it's a nice fragrance. Definitely in the late summer to fall. And then, of course, maybe in springtime too. I don't know how it would perform in the cooler weather. I haven't, had, I haven't tested it out then. But this is definitely something I've worn, you know, at nighttime in the summer when it's cooled down. So, um, you know, going out though, I'd say late 20s and up would probably like this fragrance. I don't know about certain younger age ranges. I don't know if it's gonna be a super good clubbing scent, probably not. Uh, might be a little bit heavy for that type of close environment, but I definitely think that it's good for, you know, if you're going to a sit down dinner outside or even if you just wanted to go out, you know, um, to a place where people aren't gonna be on top of you, but definitely will smell you too. So I, I think it's a, a really good fragrance. I really like the, um, woody spiciness to it. it it's, it's awesome and it does 
perform um, and the presentation is awesome as well. Um, again, I think this is best worn in the evening. So overall rating presentation, love it. Sick bottle, sick box. I really like the built-in sprayer. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Performance wise, it sits in that eight range, eight out of 10, you know, great, but not over the top, not beast mode like a lot of Jacques Bogart fragrances are or tend to be. Um, and the smell is really good too. I'm going to give it an 8.5. So overall, I'm going to give this an eight out of 10. I think this is an excellent uh, fragrance. It's something a little bit newer. You know what I mean? It's only, I would say, I guess it's 2010. That is a while ago. But at the same time, it's not uh, one of their 80s fragrances that I, I tend to also like. But this one is pretty cool. Definitely check it out. Price point can't beat it. Performance can't beat it. And it, it smells awesome. So if you guys have ever tried this uh, particular fragrance from Jacques Bogart, please let me know or any other Bogart fragrance. Maybe I haven't reviewed yet. I got some other ones in the mix that I'm going to be reviewing soon, but I think they're a little bit better suited for the colder weather, so I'm going to have to wait on them. But this one, I thought I, I could, um, I felt like I could review it now. Uh, I really enjoyed it too. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and tell me what you think. Thanks so much, and bye for now.